God's righteousness is the righteousness which is of faith. There is no way you can be living your life according to God's righteousness and get bad results. That's not possible. There is no way you can live your life based on the righteousness which is of faith and not get good results. So if you are always going through trouble, always dealing with the same trouble in your life over and over again, you better check your righteousness. If you are always down and out, I mean always, you always down about something. You better check your righteousness. If you are always oppressed or always depressed, you better check your righteousness. If you are always going through a financial struggle and in your finances, you just never seem to be able to come out or never seem to be on top. You got to check your righteousness. God's righteousness, which is the righteousness of faith, controls all of this. So there's no way this can be describing you down and out, depressed, oppressed, always in financial trouble. If either one of these is describing you or describing your life, you are not living according to God's righteousness. I done had a lot of people to tell me God's system does not work. I tried God's system and it didn't work. If you tried God's system and it didn't work, you better check your righteousness because I guarantee you, you are living according to the righteousness of man. If you try God's system and it didn't work, I guarantee you, you are basing your righteousness on the righteousness that is of the law. And I know people don't like this. I know what I'm saying makes a lot of people mad, especially people that go to church. But if you're not getting godly results, you better check your righteousness. I have people that tell me all the time how hard it is to live according to God. How hard it is to live a righteous life. How hard it is to live according to God's system. But see, that's the problem. If you think it's hard, you're not living according to God's righteousness. If you think it's hard to live Life in general, you think life is hard? It's because you're not living according to God's righteousness. If you think life is always a struggle, it's because you're not living according to the righteousness that is of faith. And I used to think the same thing. I used to make the exact same statements on how hard life was. On how every time you try to come up, something knocks you back. On how it's impossible to live according to the Bible. I used to say that stuff. But when I checked my righteousness, I was living according to the righteousness of man. And the righteousness of man cannot get good results. You cannot be healed according to the righteousness of man. You cannot be blessed living by the righteousness of man. It's just like anything else in life. If you go out to your car and think you about to go somewhere and your car don't crank or your car is not working 
Are you going to go in the house and sit down and pout and say, hey, man, my car ain't working? No. You about to start checking stuff. If you take your bank card to an ATM and try to get money out and the money won't come out, you can't withdraw money. Are you about to go home and sit down and cry and say, man, my bank card don't work. The ATM don't work. No, you about to make phone calls. You about to go to the bank. You about to start checking stuff. If it's time for you to get paid on your job and you don't get that check, you're not about to cry about it. You're not about to complain about it. You about to get with somebody on that job and start checking stuff because all of these things are things that you know are supposed to work. So what about God? What about the righteousness according to faith? You know the righteousness according to faith works. The righteousness according to faith does not fail. It does not come up short. So if it's not working for you, there is a problem. And I guarantee you the problem is not on God's end. I guarantee you the problem is not the word. I guarantee you the problem is going to be you. Check your righteousness. Now, I was talking to somebody last week. And they said something really, really good. And it's not too many times that I've heard somebody make this statement. But I don't even think they know how good of a statement this was that they made. They said they actually have a problem with trying to live according to the righteousness of man. Boom. If you can make that statement you are on your way to a good place because a lot of people cannot admit that a lot of people are so religious until they will keep doing what they're doing in life they will keep struggling trying to live according to man trying to live according to religion they will keep struggling trying to live according to the righteousness which is of the law and they will never get good results but they won't change because they won't admit to themselves that they are not living according to God's righteousness. Even if you're trying to live according to God's righteousness, you should be able to admit that, hey, in this area right here, I'm struggling because I can't quite get God's righteousness. Hey, over here in my finances, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm not where I need to be because I can't quite make myself live according to the principles of God when it comes to my finances. Admit it. The truth is just the truth. Say, hey, I'm always depressed. I'm always down and sad. I can't quite grasp the righteousness that's according to faith. Just go on and admit it. Because it's a lot better than struggling. People who are in faith see you struggling, but you're pretending to be in faith when everybody that's in faith knows faith does not look like that. Everybody that's in faith, everybody that's living according to the righteousness that is of faith, they look at you and you're not hiding. They know that ain't faith. You keep asking me for money. You are not living according to the righteousness of God. You keep going to the doctor. You keep living off of this medicine. That is not the righteousness that is according to faith. 
You keep crying about what them people saying to you. You keep complaining about what's not working out. That is not the righteousness that is according to faith. If this is what's happening in your life, you better check your righteousness. The righteousness that is of faith destroys sickness. The righteousness which is of faith destroys poverty. Living according to the righteousness that is of faith destroys oppression and depression. The righteousness that is according to faith destroys sadness. Living according to the righteousness that is of faith will cause you to be on top, will cause you to be happy. It will cause you not to complain. The righteousness which is according to faith will cause you to praise at times when other people will complain. It will cause you to be happy during times that other people are crying. This is what the righteousness that is according to faith does. This is how the righteousness according to faith changes your life. Getting away from man's righteousness is not a cakewalk. That religious way of living, that self-righteous way of living, that thinking you're on your way to heaven and the sinners are the ones that need to come to church, that stuff will hold you for a lifetime. If you think you just going to decide to leave man's righteousness and just walk in the righteousness that's according to faith, just because that's what you want to do, you got another thing coming. Once you decide to cross over, once you decide you're not going to be religious no more, once you decide that you're not going to be self-righteous or you're not going to live according to the righteousness of man, but you're going to live according to the righteousness which is of faith, that's when you're about to have a fight on your hands because the people that was around you when you was living according to man's righteousness they're going to come against you when you decide to live by God's righteousness. Everything that was going a certain way when you was living by man's righteousness, that stuff don't work when you're living by God's righteousness. The pats on the back that you got when you was living according to man's righteousness, you don't get those pats on the back when you live according to God's righteousness. Some of that praise that you got when you was living according to man. You don't get praise like that when you're living according to God's righteousness. You don't get no glory when you're living according to God's righteousness. You're going to find out that a lot of people, situations, and demons don't want to let you go. The one thing that demons don't want you to have is the righteousness that's according to faith. The one thing that religious church folks don't want you to have is the righteousness that is according to faith. Demons know once you get the righteousness that is according to faith, they can't touch you. Demons know that once you get the righteousness that is according to faith, they can't trouble you. Demons know that once you get the righteousness that is according to faith, you can put a whipping on every single one of them. And there's no in between. You either get it or you don't. You either got it or you don't. You either understand it or you don't. If you don't, stop faking like you got something because you don't. If you don't got it, you got to fight for it. 
you got to go get it. You got to give everything you got to make sure you obtain this righteousness. You got to get this righteousness. You put all you got into getting money. You need to be putting all you got into obtaining this righteousness. You put all you got into trying to make people think you're one thing that you're not. You need to put all you got into obtaining this righteousness. You give that job everything that you got. You give those sports everything that you got. You give that relationship everything that you got. You give your friends everything that you got. You need to take everything that's in you. You need to take all the focus that you got. All the strength that you got. All the power that you got. You need to make sure with all of your might that you obtain this righteousness because once you get the righteousness that is according to faith once you know and understand the righteousness that is according to faith once you make a lifestyle out of the righteousness that is according to faith it's over you will never be the same again no area of your life will ever look the same again. If you can't honestly say you're there right now to where you're not complaining, you don't cry about problems, you're not down and out when things go wrong, you're not popping pills every time something goes on in your body. If you're not living a life of power, if you still think this life is hard or you still think the things of God is hard or God's system doesn't work, if you're still down and out and depressed all the time and you're not seeing what the scriptures say you should see in your life, if you can't say you're there, check your righteousness.